Welcome, everybody. My name is Michael Rosenzweig. I'm one of the two managing directors here at Tour Berlin, and I'm in charge of the recruitment as well. So today I'll be your host and guide you through our open house. And let me first start with a quick introduction and presentation. So I will rush you through some slides and let's start with uh, the structure of today's open house. So after you will get an introduction from me, it's time for our professor in psychology and dean of the undergrads program, Professor Bohim, to tell us about our psychology program. And after that, our former dean, Professor Anna Klipstein, who is a professor in finance, will tell you about the business program and about the MBA. Then we have guests from New York. It's time then for Veteran Affairs introduction by Colonel Jeffrey Slack, a director of Veterans Affairs in New York, and then the introduction to the department's activities by Ms. Choi, a director of the International and Veterans Affairs in New York. After that, we'll hear from Shane Peterson, our MBA student, former BA student, and president of the student government at Turo College Berlin about student life and what is it like to study at Turo Berlin. And then it's time for Scott Meyer, our admissions officer, and he'll tell you about admission requirements. And basically, Scott is a very important pro uh, person in the process of admission, obviously. So here is how to connect with him. And then last but not least, it's time for Tal Gibbish, our recruitment officer, and she's doing so much more. So she will tell you about student services. So final thing, we'll have our Q&A section. So if you have questions, please put them in the Zoom Q&A section and we will distribute them or Tal will distribute them at the end of our event and we will answer to those questions. So let's jump into it. An American University in Berlin, indeed we are. We were founded in 2003. Tour College Berlin is part of a huge university system, the Tour University system based in New York. Tour College is a university where students are prepared for the professional world. And you study in a multicultural environment, which is conducive to learning and gives you all the tools needed to really succeed in modern world. We strive to provide you with a unique education and international education entirely in English on a beautiful campus in Berlin. And we are the higher education institute to offer a dual degree option accredited in the US and in Germany. So let's talk about that. So why we are unique. As said, you have a double degree option, meaning you can earn an American and or a German degree for the same tuition at the same time. And our programs are accredited by both countries and taught in English. So you have, once you finish, the opportunity to stay in Europe with your American degree or go to the US with your US degree. Our German degree is accredited by the Wissenschaftsrat and Aquis, eine Qualitätssicherungsagentur. And our American degree is accredited by the Middle States and the New York Department of Education. So what's unique about our program? Small classes, very, very good professors. You are part of a family, not just a number. Our professors are well connected, so you'll have chances through their contacts for internships and even your first successful employment. We do offer tailor-made teaching and learning methods and financial aid, housing and scholarships are available. Being part of a big international university system, you can go abroad for a semester without all that difficulties. So how about going to LA or New York or even Moscow or Nevada 
or to Jerusalem while studying in Berlin for one semester. Very easy in our network. A question that I often get asked is, Michael, what is the diversity? What, where do students come from at Tour Berlin? So basically being based in Germany, the biggest chunk is German, but not German-German. These are expats, literally people living in Germany. Then as an American college, next chunk is from the US. And after that, you name it, Western Europe, Eastern Europe, Russia, Asia, Africa, Israel, the Middle East. I stopped counting, but Tao always tells me it's roughly about 60 nationalities on our campus. What can you do with a degree from Tour of Berlin? So if you pursue your career or your academic career in the field of psychology, you can, with a BA from us, do a master's, go into market research, become an HR person with a big corporation, or go into clinical psychology. All that is possible. And obviously, you can join the US government with your American degree as well. And for the business programs, we have people who went with into banking, with big corporations, into pharmaceuticals, into uh, property business, big international entities. And here as well, you can go with your American degree also uh, into the federal government, for example. We do have a vibrant campus life, if not for the pandemic, so we do have a great student government that will be presented by Cheyenne later on. They offer student clubs, events, holiday celebration, group study sessions, and many, many more after the pandemic. Here is a very quick look at our campus. That's what it looked like to study in Tour Berlin. And we use the time of pandemic to heavily invest into our IT. So we can now offer hybrid classes with all the bells and whistles. So as an example, after the pandemic, if you don't feel to come to class because you have a toothache, you can stay home. Your class will be obviously on the campus, but it's gonna be a hybrid class. So you can still join via Zoom. And this so said, if for example, for the MBA program, we'll get in let's say 10 new students who do their military service, we could do a solely class for you, which will be entirely hybrid with a very small amount of on-campus presence. So a very warm welcome to Tour College Berlin. Please reach out, connect with us, write us an email, follow us on social media. Just come by if you are in Berlin. Thanks for your attention. And now I would give over to our Dean of the undergrad program, Larissa Bohin. The stage is yours. Thank you very much, Michael, for this nice introduction. And thank you all for joining us here this evening to hear about what makes Turo College Berlin a really distinctive place to study. I will try to answer two questions at the same time in a very short presentation. First question is, why should I study psychology? Why is this field for me? And second, why should I study psychology at Tour College Berlin? The curriculum of the program that we offer follows the recommendations of the German Society for Psychology, and it fulfills the criteria for a US undergraduate degree in psychology. So you are, once again, you have the opportunity to take advantage of either a German degree or a psychology degree. It will be set on any, anywhere where your life path takes you. We offer one of the few general psychology programs outside of a public university in Germany. What does that mean? Our program doesn't come with any qualifiers that are typical for other private institutions. For example, business psychology, media psychology, or law psychology. What we cover is a wide range of branches of psychology, general psychology, not just psychotherapy. Psychology is sometimes equated with psychotherapy, but there's actually a lot more to studying psychology than just psychotherapy. 
And we strongly believe in teaching you the broad foundations of psychology as a science with courses in quantitative as well as qualitative research methods, history of psychology, social psychology, biological psychology, personality, counseling and psychotherapy, and always a favorite of students, statistics. Why is this important for you? With the skills you will acquire in these courses, you will be ready to either continue your education in a master's or a doctoral program, or for a future career in either research, for example, in public policy or marketing, or applied psychology, like a mental health, professional counseling, counseling psychology, clinical psychology, or even forensic psychology for that matter, depending on your interests. And seeing this is a very important piece of information for you, it's important to point out that the Department of Defense in the US is one of the most significant employers of psychologists in the US. This is a wonderful career path to follow really. In addition to being a general broadly based psychology program, we also have five special teaching and research areas. Those are in media psychology, trauma and resilience, multicultural counseling, psychoanalysis, and psychosis and dissociation. What you can expect as a student with us are small and applied classes. We emphasize learning through analyzing prior research, by studying case examples, and by students conducting their own research, sometimes in a, a team of two or three students and sometimes entirely on your own. What we offer you is a dynamic, interactive, supportive, and above all multicultural learning environment. Our students are really non-traditional in every possible way, and we would love to have you join the ranks. Thank you for your attention. And now back to you, Michael. Thank you so much, Larissa, for this first introduction. And I'm more than sure if anybody wants to reach out, you will be more than happy to answer questions Absolutely. Like email or whatever it is. Absolutely. So next, I would pass on to Professor Klipstein, our professor of business, to tell you about the business program. Thank you, Michael, and uh, welcome everyone to today's open house. It's my pleasure to introduce you to the business program at the Turo College Berlin. We offer business program on two levels, on the bachelor level uh, as the undergraduate degree and as the, on the MBA level as the graduate degree. The bachelor degree, we have both accreditation from uh, German accreditation authority and the American accreditation that means that you can choose that uh, you either go for one diploma which can be American one or German one or you decide to go for both diplomas which is possible to do in more or less the same time period is the single diploma because the programs are harmonized and actually you can combine both degrees at the same time. If you decided to continue with Turo, uh, then you can uh, apply for the MBA program. This is international management program. And uh, if you already have a bachelor degree, uh, we do not require that this degree should be necessary in business. You can have IT degree, you can have degree in pharmaceuticals or in engineering, but uh, it enables you to join to our MBA program because we have a preparatory program that you first have a short program uh, of uh, management, marketing, finance, preparing you for the graduate studies. Um, well, what we do in our business program, we very much oriented on the practical life. Our goal is to introduce you, doesn't matter if you study bachelor or you study master, we would like to introduce to the uh, everyday life of the business. We help you to pursue the successful career within the multinational businesses like PayPal, Apple, Bayer, SAP, and other companies, Coca-Cola or banks like Deutsche Bank. We have a good connection over Germany and specifically in Berlin. What we else uh, uh, give you uh, as the introduction in the real life of business, we will 
teach you how to start the own successful business <clears throat> and how to join the large startup scene in Berlin or in a Silicon Valley or in Israel, in London or whatever in the world. We also teach you to be a successful investor. We have a research project in the field of investing, how to be successful in the capital markets. We have the students initiative group uh, who are investors on the stock market. And um, uh, we have a lot of workshops and case studies uh, training students with the practice of finance. Besides that, we also introduce you uh, in the practice of marketing and particularly in the practice of management. That means that our business program has three majors. This is management, marketing, and finance. And um, we, of course, benefit from two, uh, two programs, psychology and business. That means if Courses as your electives, or if you are a psychology student, you can book some business classes like entrepreneurship or corporate finance or investment principles uh, as a psychology student. In addition, what I would like to say overall about Turo College Berlin, we are very proud to be part of a Turo College and university systems, uh, that this is non-profit organization. That means that um, uh, from the entire Turo system, all money which will be generated from your tuition, they are reinvested in educational programs. And I think this is, this is an important point. Otherwise, please do not hesitate to contact me to ask your questions. I will be more than happy to answer them. And now I pass the word back to Michael. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anna, for this introduction into our business program. And I think I will uh, get back to you for some advice and investment very soon. So that's <laughs> please, do, please, yeah. please do so. Please do so. Time is money. <laughs> Indeed it is. So let's go on. Time is money. And I would pass on to Colonel Jeffrey Slack for, for his bid. So very warm welcome to New York. Thank you, Michael. Uh, I'm already enjoying listening to everybody's comments because sadly I'm not, I've never been to the Berlin campus, but uh, after looking at the pictures, I'm inspired to go for no other purpose. Uh, so I served in the army for 34 years and I retired in 2013. And I came to Turo in 2014 and started the veterans program. Uh, just as a way, in a way of uh, background, I served briefly in my youth in the army in Aschaffenburg and I loved it. Um, I'm, you know, I need to I need to go on a vacation and go back to a Schaffenberg if no place else. I spent most of my career in the Middle East in war and peace. And I can honestly say I didn't love that as much as my tour in Berlin. Um, I took this job uh, because in those countless hours that I was uh, you know, spent stuck in a gun truck with, uh, with other soldiers, the conversation always came up about the future. And I listened to so many you know, soldiers talk about their big dreams. And invariably, as part of that conversation, it was always comments made that they were going to go back to school on the GI Bill. And it clearly is the ticket to success for any meaningful career. And uh, I've enjoyed watching uh, students, military students, come into Turo College, uh, enjoy their program of, of academic in instruction, and then go off to great jobs. So it's been, it's been very rewarding, and it's actually... Uh, working with the students is what gets me out of bed in the morning. Um, it's just really one way to give back is to work in, working with veterans going to school. And I'll just a little private anecdote. I was inspired by Turo when in 2014, uh, the VA was delinquent in paying housing allowance to the Berlin students. And it became a bit of a crisis. And I was called into New York City to the corporate headquarters to discuss this. And after talking about our inability to make the VA do anything off its own schedule, the leadership of the college volunteered to pick up the rent for the students in Berlin. Um, you know, and when the, obviously when the VA paid the, you know, the leadership was hoping that, um, you know, their gift would be paid back and it was by every single student, but for the months that it took for the VA to make payment on the basic allowance for housing, uh, Turo paid the rent. 
So it was it was something that really inspired me. And I I like to share that with any student because it tells you how can you know how uh, genuinely uh, military friendly they put their money where their mouth is, which is rare in a lot of schools. They just shrug their shoulders. But Turo actually stepped up for that. And the leadership had, you know, they convinced me that they were um, really interested in the veterans program. So that's um, all I really have. I'm looking forward to answering any questions that any of you may have. And with that, I will turn it back to Michael. Thank you so much for, 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 for your insight. And uh, I actually didn't know that. So that's very impressive. And uh, now I would uh, give it to Ms. Choi to, uh, to tell us about the department's activities. So the stage is yours. Thank you, Michael. Hello, everyone. Greetings from New York. My name is Sunny Choi, and I am one of the school certifying officers at Toro College in New York. As a school certifying officer, we create a supportive educational environment for veterans. We assist the students who are using their VA education benefit to pursue a degree at Toro College. We provide advice on how to use GIV benefits and provide resources and information within and outside of the college. And most importantly, submit your enrollment certification and report any changes with your enrollment to VA. Veteran students can always contact the school certifying officers if they have any questions or help with their VA, uh, with their VA education benefit, school tuition, academic issues, or any school and VA related issues. We always provide assistance directly in a timely manner. We will go over some of the most frequently asked questions about GI bills during the FAQ session later. But if you have any questions um, after the open house, please, please feel free to contact me anytime. And again, thanks for joining us today. And I look forward to welcoming you at Total College. And hey, Michael, I am passing it back to you. All right. Thank you so much, Sun, for sharing with us. And now it's time for our student government. So Cheyenne, stage is yours to tell us about student life and what you like it about Turo College. Perfect. Thank you, Michael. And thanks to everyone who's participating and watching. Um, it's really nice to be here. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to tell you about it. So I am a current MBA student. I'm the current president of Truro College Berlin. And that just means I have oversight over a student government who is really the touch point uh, for students and the administration making our voice heard. Um, and it's been a really fun time for me to be at Turo College Berlin because I had done my undergraduate through Turo. I was a transfer student there and I finished up my bachelor um, at Turo College Berlin and then I transferred into the master's uh, program which has been really, really cool even amidst Corona because a huge advantage of our campus and the professors in this small intimate setting that we all get to be a part of is that our, our professors are incredibly well connected um, and they really wanna help their students. These professors turn into your friends, your role models. They're more than just someone that you would visit for a lecture or turn into a, a homework assignment into. Um, it becomes really, like Michael said, a family kind of idea. Um, and so these small classes obviously mean you get more help with your homework. They mean that you're probably more dedicated to finishing certain tasks because you know you have these professors who are counting on you to do so and they, they're rooting for you to do so. Um, and so you always wanna do this. And furthermore, Turo College Berlin for its offering, I, I personally find the tuition price to be amazing, especially as compared to um, any sort of universities, private or public state within America because the prices there can get um, pretty incredible. And at Turo College Berlin, it's pretty leveled. So it offers a wide range of access for a lot of students. Um, and therefore that drives the internationality factor of Turo College Berlin, which arguably could be one of my favorites because the people you meet there are from all over the world. I can name a friend now in every continent, multiple in every continent. And these, are, these aren't just my peers, they're also my really close friends because of this close environment that Turo College Berlin uh, allows us to learn together and, and get to know each other in too. So this international, 
internationality aspect for me is especially amazing, especially being American um, and going to an American school, you might think it could be all Americans, but it's really people from all over the world. And therefore that in, in and of itself, I think it also contributes to the academic experience that you would have at Tour College Berlin. Um, because it's just such an international environment and it, it makes you so much more interested in people around you and the cultures and the professors are all international as well. So it's pretty amazing for that. Um, furthermore, in addition to that, the research and the projects and even the assignments that you do are really rewarding. Um, Professor Klipstein has taken my class a couple different times to really, really cool field trips field trips and it's a bit hands-on and you get to know the people behind the startups in Berlin. Um, and it's been an amazing experience really getting to see things so intimately. Um, whereas at a, as a, at a bigger university, this opportunity is likely not to happen, especially at the, the closeness and the comfortability that it happens at Tour College Berlin. Um, and so th that's amazing. And then Berlin in and of itself, the campus is super central to Berlin. Um, it's a beautiful campus and Berlin is one of the best cities to live in as a student, absolutely hands down. So if you're nervous or scared or confused about moving to Berlin, I would highly recommend it. It is the it is one of the best places to be um, a student. There's just so much that uh, is offered here. Um, and so being a student in Berlin, uh, student government likes to cater to these students a little bit. Um, recently within the times of Corona, which has been pretty challenging, we started a couple clubs. We have three official clubs. So we have the yoga club, we have a politics club, um, and then we have a personal development club catered towards psychology. So this has been really amazing in getting um, the Turo community together, even digitally, as we transfer into this hybrid and everything starts opening up. Um, we already have this foundation from this previous semester because our students and now have the option to be engaged in clubs, which has been a really, really great um, addition to campus and student life within to our college Berlin. And hopefully it's only progressive. Um, and so in addition to that, the clubs and the student life and um, furthermore are supported by other things too, such as, uh, for example, we recently had a motivational workshop in times of, in pre-pandemic, we had times of, bake sales and fundraisers and social gatherings. And we're still in the works of doing that. So being a student is really fun at Toro College Berlin because we're all connected and we're close and we have each other's backs in a, in a unique way because we're all of these, a lot of us are expats at this one central location. Um, and it's really nice to fall back on each other in these times. So that's been really cool. Um, and therefore that creates a creative environment, which I think is, um, a huge part of Tour College Berlin. Like I think Professor Buhin, you had said, um, the students are can be really unconventional because it's a, it's such a unique offering and a unique value offering even um, for Tour College Berlin because like many of you know now, it's accredited in Germany and America. So the degree offerings are amazing um, and it's super, it's an amazing way to get your degree um, through Tour College Berlin. Um, yeah, and I think that's, basically everything. I would be super happy to answer any questions if anybody has any for me. You can always get in touch with our Turo student government Instagram if you want um, to write more of a student friendly message or um, just have a casual conversation about what is perspective for you. Um, always uh, reach out on Instagram or you can email us. I can put it in the chat right after this. Um, yeah, and I would be looking forward to welcoming any and all of you. It would be a decision you wouldn't regret to study at Toro College Berlin. So, Michael, I will hand it back to you. So, thanks thank a lot, Cheyenne, for, for that insight. And we also try to be student friendly, I guess, but you're <laughs> right, you're more approachable, for you're sure. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, now it's time for Scott, one of the most important person here in our uh, Zoom conversation, our admissions officer. So, get to know him. Thank you, Michael. Um, <laughs> I'm generous to say the most important, but I'll take it. Um, so hello, everyone. I'm Scott Meyer, the admissions officer here at Turo College Berlin. Um, and today I'm going to give you a kind of a brief overview or like an impression of how we how we run our admissions here at, in Berlin. Um, so as mentioned already today, um, a huge advantage of studying with us um, in Berlin is our small class sizes. Um, so this is like an environment we believe to be the best for learning. So it's an important consideration for our admissions. Small classes means concepts and ideas are grasped through 
things like classroom discussions and debates. And for that, we need motivated, passionate, prepared students. So to that end, we try to get as full a picture as possible um, of our applicants beyond your grades. So to that end, we're looking for things like a letter of motivation from you, why you're applying to Turo, what interests you about psychology or business, what are your plans for the future? Um, a letter of recommendation, whereby someone who has taught or supervised you previously can vouch for your commitment to learning, your attitude to learning, how you approach new challenges, um, how you handle feedback, that kind of thing. Um, and we also interview all of our applicants, um, which is a rather important step. I do say it's an interview. Um, it's with myself and one of our professors, um, but we like to make it more of a discussion. So it's kind of your opportunity to ask us about the program, about our college, about our students, um, about what you can get out of Turo to make sure this is a good fit for, for everyone involved. Um, the application process. So this is a simple two-step procedure. The first step is to submit all your application documents. The second step is our entrance institute that I just mentioned. Um, if you have a high school diploma, a GED, or an equivalent credential, you are eligible to study, study with us. If you have previously earned college credit, um, you can transfer it to Turo and have it count toward your degree and finish a bit quicker than the standard four years. For the sake of timeliness, I'm not going to rattle off every single document that we require from you. Um, you can find a full list of those um, on our website on the How to Apply page, um, which is under the admission section. But I will mention that one of these documents that you should provide as a military student um, is your um, certificate of eligibility. That's really the only differing um, document we will require from you, otherwise the procedure is exactly the same for all students. Um, perhaps the most important thing I want to talk about today, I want to impress upon you this evening, um, is that I am here to help guide you through the entire process. Um, I know from personal experience that um, navigating university admissions is kind of daunting. It can be quite confusing, frustrating. Sometimes you're sending off emails with no response. You don't know where your documents have gone. Um, so at Turo, we, try, we do strive to be different. We are responsive, we're hands-on, um, just as in the classroom, our admissions office, um, and really any administrative, administrative office here on um, campus. We do try to pride ourselves on being approachable, flexible, um, and solutions oriented. Um, so for example, um, right now, because of the pandemic, um, schools have pushed their final exams, offices and institutions are closed or very delayed in issuing official documents. Um, so we, we understand this and you can apply with predicted grades, unofficial transcripts downloaded from your online student account, scans of official documents and simply provide the official copies once you're accepted later on. Um, if you've been out of school for a number of years and you can't get a letter of recommendation from a teacher, um, we can discuss who else is appropriate to write one for you. Perhaps an internship supervisor, um, your commanding officer, um, a previous employer for some examples. So any unusual circumstances, that generally not insurmountable. Simply contact me um, at admissions at and I'm sure we can work it out. Um, so I urge you all to come join us. If you have any specific questions, feel free to leave them in the chat or to contact me directly. Um, our military students always bring with them skills and experiences that really enrich our student body. Um, so I do hope I hear from you all very soon. Um, and right now, I'll send it back to our MC, Sarah Bolton Spike. Thank you very much, Scott. As always, very effective. So uh, let's keep going. So next on my list is Tal Gibbish, our recruitment officer. Tal, hi, hi, and stage is yours. Hi, thank you very much. Um, thank you very much. And uh, what I would like to uh, present today, student, service, uh, student services department basically uh, deals with their student personal development and personal needs such as housing, scholarships, career development. Military students have basically most of it. Um, in housing, um, um, Jeffrey started to say, but um, the benefits of the military students is they get in Berlin, the allowance, the housing allowance of Manhattan because our headquarters in New York. So this is something uh, that is important to know and we help, um, and we help searching for apartment 
What uh, we do offer for military students is personal attention, helping and assistance throughout all the process, throughout the semesters. If you need, uh, if you have a problem with professors, with scheduling stuff, everything that we can do for you. Um, so this is the basic, this is the basic rule of what we are and what we do as Scott uh, has previously mentioned. We are here for you. And the students are the most valuable resource, of course, in addition to the uh, faculty and other employees, but students are the uh, most valuable resource of this college. And we welcome military students, uh, veterans, um, um, active duty and dependents, and we help as much as we can. Uh, Cheyenne forgot to mention that after that we have kind of like after party uh, for questions and answers about student life and everything that you want to know. Um, so it's a separate uh, Zoom uh, link. I'll put it uh, in a minute in the, in the chat, but you also have it in the email, reminder email that you got. Uh, to your inboxes. And I think that now we continue to the Q&A uh, because we got uh, a few questions. So if you can all please turn on your video and audio and we can all answer the questions that we got. Uh, so thank you very much. And we have <laughs> a few questions. Um, I'll start with a really common one uh, for Scott. Um, do I have to know German? Do you have to know German um, to study at Terra College Berlin? Um, you don't. Um, our psychology business courses are all taught exclusively in English. All of our admin staff speak English. All our faculty teach in English. You do all your coursework in English. Um, so you do not need any proof of German. Um, if you're not a native English speaker, you, we may need proof of your English, obviously, um, but not German. Um, that being said, if you're going to live in Germany, um, it's really, it really helps to enrich the experience a lot if, if you know some basics, at least, of German. Um, Berlin is super cosmopolitan, and, and English is like really widely spoken. You'll get by very easily here speaking just English. Um, but do try to learn the basics. It just helps to kind of understand the culture a bit more and just kind of get more integrated. Thank you. Um, I think the next question I can refer to you, Shan. Maybe the professors can also uh, answer afterwards, maybe from what they know, uh, because we were supposed to have our uh, one of our alumni here and he is sick today, so he couldn't uh, come. Uh, from what you know, how um, our military students cope with the uh, with studying? So we currently have veteran students uh, at Tour College Berlin now, and I think the attitude towards um, it is the same as I said before. The internationality is so understanding inherently as it has to be, um, and so this close network automatically promotes understanding people that you may not have related to outside of the learning uh, experience. So yeah, anyone anyone who is studying at Turo College Berlin is um, understanding and they're around different people than them all the time. And so it just opens the floor in this, this super open and uh, intimate, if you want it to be, ecosystem that uh, I think fits with veteran students so seamlessly. Um, and it happens inherently, it happens naturally because everybody's so different. This level of understanding is just um, a given. Uh, and it makes it super attractive for anybody who's going here, religion-wise, experience-wise, uh, degree-wise, uh, obviously military involvement-wise. So it it's an open floor, it's an open ecosystem, it's an open environment. And yeah, there, there's no judgment that takes place there that I've ever witnessed or think I ever will. So yeah, super well for them. I would agree with Cheyenne. I had a very positive experience as veterans. First of all, the Turo College is very multicultural, diverse and open space. And secondly, the veteran students, they are very disciplined. Uh, they are um, focused, they are concentrated, they have a life experience. And this is uh, a great contribution to the classes and that's very much valued by other students. 
Absolutely. Yeah. I would just mm -hmm. second that a thousand percent. I can think of the experiences with the veteran students in my courses and they've always offered something um, of contribution. And it's been really enlightening and in, in super interesting, even as an American to have um, American veteran students there. So it's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. So if we started with Professor Clifton, so maybe I can refer this question is, I think, uh, for you. As a business professor, and I would like also to refer to Professor Buchin, um, can I do research on military uh, tema? Uh, in a, in a, um, I think in both programs, but I will answer for business, definitely, of course, and military budget and uh, um, uh, the military industry and a huge economic factor, so it's, it's uh, no secret. So that's why uh, such research is very welcome and appreciated. Yes, absolutely. Similarly to Professor Klipstein, absolutely. Th these, th it wouldn't be just one topic, right? There are so many things related to military life that one could approach from a psychological perspective, um, whether that's being deployed abroad, the separation from family, uh, stressors upon uh, finishing one's uh, service and sort of re-entering civilian society and, and so on and so on. Uh, to go. So it would be wonderful to have uh, a potential student or a future student who is interested in, in uh, connecting study of psychology with research in military psychology. There's actually within the American Psychological Association, which is our largest professional organization in the US, a, a whole division on military psychology. So there is um, a student with these interests certainly would not be alone. Good to know. Um, I think the next question, uh, maybe I can refer to Jeffrey. Um, does Turo College accept all types of military service provided tuition assistance? Yes, even though the uh, post 9-11 GI Bill is the uh, flagship, um, type of tuition assistance that the military provides. Uh, we do have students that go to school using uh, federal tuition assistance uh, provided by the Department of Defense. And uh, I mean, those are the two big ones, but there, there are subsets to those through different, uh, the National Guard and Reserves. And it's a really complicated labyrinth of different types of tuition assistance that because those different components of the different military services all handle them differently. The only unifying program, truthfully, is the Veterans Administration. And I would defer to uh, Mrs. Choi to discuss anything about the VA. She's Turo's real expert on the VA. But yeah, I have not seen, even for something that's relatively obscure or used only infrequently, um, someone up on the corporate staff has, has accepted that in the past, usually in the Bursar's office. And so it doesn't take long for them to, um, you know, to, to dust it off. So I would submit to anybody who might be listening to this, that if you have any form of tuition assistance that you want to explore, um, make contact with me and then I'll find the appropriate person to help, you know, just, you know, to make sure that we understand all the dynamics. And I won't, uh, you know, I, I can't stress this point too much is that some of these um, more, in frequently used programs, so that we have to put our heads together to remember it. But the big ones, uh, anything to do with the VA or the Department of Defense are, are current and, and, and everybody here knows how to use them and they're all completely accepted by Turo College. Thank you, I have a follow-up question. What if one uh, do not have access to the post 9-11 uh, GI Bill? If they are, if they're watching this video today, the chances are that they do. They have either, because again, I don't want to drift into Mrs. Choi's lane, but even 90 days of active military service will get a, a military student. And I like to use that term more than veterans because it, it, it's more inclusive. That includes in my mind and everybody else's mind, uh, dependents somebody who's listed in the, in, in the DEERS program as a, as a recipient or a potential recipient of the tuition benefits that a service may, member may have earned. Like for instance, my daughter went and got her bachelor's on my post 9-11 GI Bill. So it's a big family. Um, 
but I, I think that if really it's for the most part, normally the National Guard folks or the Federal Reserve forces that struggle to achieve uh, some portion of the post 9-11 GI Bill. For everybody who's on active duty and their dependents, um, the GI Bill is, is usually pretty uh, accessible. I, I would submit most of them already have it. If they're not sure, they should contact the VA. But again, I'll let Mrs. Choi talk about that. Yeah, so Mrs. Choi, uh, if you can elaborate a little bit, how, how can one apply for the GI Bill benefits? Sure. So to apply for GI Bill benefits, you must apply through the VA, at the VA website. Uh, I believe Tel can on yeah, the resources and yeah, link, um, the, the VA website link about the how to apply for GIB link. So you can go to that link, enter your information. The information you might need is your social security number, bank account, direct deposit information, education and military history, and basic information about the school or the training institution that you want to attend or attending now. And if you have any questions uh, while you're completing your online application, you can contact us or you can call the VA education hotline for assistance and we can send you the number uh, after, the, after the open house. And also you can find out the eligibility for GI Bill and other education benefit at the VA website, which is GI Bill eligibility. And we can also send you the link as well. Thank you. I think uh, the next question is more specific to tour college and tour mm -hmm. college system. Um, how uh, how do I how can I use my GI Bill benefits at tour college system and including tour college Berlin? Yes. So to order, uh, in order to use your GI Bill uh, benefit at Toro College, you need to communicate with a school certifying officer in New York. The Berlin Veteran Students Enrollment Certifications will be submitted by the Veteran Student Office in New York. So students must submit the following documents to the school certifying officer in New York to use, use your GI Bill benefit for your education. So the list of documents are a completed total college enrollment certification request form where you can download it from the uh, Veterans Program website at total.edu a copy of a total college acceptance letter only if you're a new student, certificate of eligibility from VA, and proof of registration. I also want to emphasize that you must submit a request for enrollment certification to total college SCO every semester. So your request form will be used as a written consent for us. And without your written consent, a CEO cannot submit your enrollment certification to VA. And I encourage you to uh, find the step-by-step -step instructions and form and more resources at Total College website at how to use your VA uh, benefit at Total uh, website at Total.edu. And uh, most importantly, you need to remember is if you add or drop any approved classes from your original course registration, you must inform the veteran students office in New York uh, because we are required by the federal regulation to update your enrollment certification with the VA if there's any changes. Thank you. I, I think we'll take one last question uh, for because we're kind of running out of time. Yeah. So uh, I, it's again for you. Uh, what is considered full time uh, and how does that affect my GI Bill benefits? Sure. So at undergraduate school, 12 credits are considered as a full time for spring and fall semester. And at most graduate schools, nine credits are considered as a full time for spring and fall semester. And in order to, uh, to find out the exact um, information regarding the full time requirements, uh, you should contact the registrar's office in Berlin to confirm the full-time status requirement for your program. So under the GIB, it is important to know your full-time, what is considered as a full-time by the school. Uh, because there are there is something called monthly housing allowance. So 
So a monthly housing allowance or MHA is paid directly to student at the beginning of each month for the previous month. And MHA will only uh, be paid while the student is not on active duty. So if you are a veteran student or if your spouse of children of veterans who are currently using uh, post 9-11 GI Bill, chapter 33, then you will be eligible for monthly housing allowance. And the monthly housing allowance is prorated by the student's length of service percentages at the student's rate of pursuit. And the, the rate of pursuit or ROP only, is only applied for chapter 33. The VA calculates ROP by dividing the number of credits, your enrolled credit hours, by the number of credit considered to be full-time by the school. So at total college for undergraduate school is 12 credit for spring and fall semester. And uh, for most graduate school is a nine credit at Bowling campus. And your enrollment status will impact your MHA. So if you're a full-time student at undergraduate program, 12 credit or more, you will receive MHA at the full-time status. If your uh, enrollment is less than 50%, there is no MHA. So the MHA for exclusively 100% online program is $916.50 per month during the 2020 to 2021 academic year. And I highly encourage you to uh, find out the estimated MHA rate based on your, your eligibility and school location at the VA website. Um, GA, GI Bill comparison to at VA.gov, which we can also send you the link and more resources later on. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we have one last question, I promise. Uh, it comes from Facebook, and I think I refer to Scott um, as a veteran. <laughs> Uh, as a veteran, uh, do I need a special visa if I'm not a U.S. military employee anymore, just a veteran? Um, you, I guess, will need a student visa if you are not German. Um, but you're still an American citizen, so the process for that outside of pandemic travel restrictions is, is pretty simplified. So you can come to Germany, enter, and you're basically granted a visa on entry, and you'll have 90 days to convert that into a student visa, which you do at the, um, the embassy, not the embassy, the, what do you call that? Outstand of the I think they call it the Landesamt for Eingondern or something like that at the moment. Um, so one of the foreign office in Berlin, there's a couple of them, um, you go there and convert it into a student visa. Um, we give you all the, the paper that you will need um, from the school, confirming that you're our student, um, and then you'll need some other documents and stuff. But it's all pretty much the on their website that we can point you to should you need some help. Sounds simple. Uh, back to you, Michael. So thank you everybody for joining us. We, I think, covered a lot of questions. My biggest thank goes to our guests from New York, to Geoffrey, to Sam for joining us today and making this whole event actually happen for us. Obviously, to our professors, to Dean Bohim, to Professor Klipstein, and uh, to, to Cheyenne for sharing with us the student point of view on, on this event, and for Tao to putting all that together, and for Scott, as always, for his great insight. So thanks a lot. Hope to see you back on campus very soon. And uh, yeah, see you in person after the pandemic. Take care, stay healthy.